Like Nate and them start running towards the parking lot like they was finna go get guns. They was telling us, y'all better not be here when we get back. Yeah. And we was like, where the f we gonna go? We all parked in the same fucking place, right? And so they came back with golf clubs and that's the part on the tape that you see. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. At the golf course when y'all had your oh, with, Paul, oh, I with Nate Dog. Like, yeah. what the hell was going on, man? As a matter of fact, why do you think Nate Dog and you could never see eye to eye? And you know, you told, you said a few times that y'all had issues. Oh, RIP to Nate. I love yeah, Nate Dog yeah, rest music. Rest in peace to Nate, for man, sure. Man, but and I know y'all kind of resolve differences later on. But mm -hmm. what, what? When I say that through your brother, yeah, but, yeah. Um, just, just tell me when you seen him. What was the whole deal with that? Like, I didn't even really see him. So I'm sitting up at a, I'm sitting on the balcony of this mansion. It was like a three story mansion. And so they had a bar outside of the, on the back part. So okay. I'm like on the second story and it's a bar right there. So I'm sitting on the couch drinking. And then when I happen to look up, Snoop Dogg is coming. And man, Snoop already talked before. So he, he shook my hand and everything. What's up, man? Whoopie whoop. Behind him, Warren G. Behind him, the dog pound. And then Nate Dog is at the end of the trail. So when Nate get right there, he just gang banging. Dog pound. I'm like, nutty block crib. He like, dog pound, nutty block crib, whatever, whatever. And he just keep walking. I just sat there and kept drinking. So now my brother end up coming and I'm looking over the balcony. I see my brother walking on the grass. When I go down to meet my brother, these niggas, everybody drunk now. So. They riding on golf carts and things like that. And Nate, when he seen me walking across the grass, he tried to run me over. Wow. He was like coming at me with the golf cart. So I stopped and then he swooped, but he ran over my foot. And then I chased the golf cart, you know what I'm saying? And he, he hurried up and jumped off. And I'm like, man, what the fuck wrong with you? He was like, little nigga, get out of my face. And I just stole on him. And that was, that yeah, was it. That was just it, yeah. But did it, I know y'all got to fighting after that, huh? Got to fighting. It was undercover police there because- what? You know, yeah, it was police like dressed in suits and shit. Like we didn't know who they were because you had Russell Simmons and all these people there. And um, once all that shit kicked off, they start whipping out and drawing down on us. They laid me down on the ground and everything. Yeah. Wow. What'd your brother say? My brother went crazy because um, when I stole on him, they act like Nate and them start running towards the parking lot like they was finna go get guns. They was telling of us, y'all better not be here when we get back. Yeah. And we was like, what the fuck we gonna go? We all parked in the same fucking place, right? And so they came back with golf clubs, and that's the part on the tape that you see. Hey, hey, you know wow, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. the part. So, okay. And and you got to understand, man, like, you hear the stories about Nate. Mm -hmm. I know, uh, what's the name? What's the girl's name? Was got the baby by Daz. Oh. Kenya, oh, Kenya, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she told me about how Nate was, you know what I mean? Protective. Nate, and just yeah, a, he was just, he was the he was one that was going, yeah, he was going to get to it. He yeah. didn't play about nah, heels. He didn't. You know what I'm saying? He and you it, respected bro. it more when y'all, when course. that happened, right? Absolutely. Like, cause look, Warren G was on Def Jam. I told you we end up signing the Def Jam as well. Correct. So Russell used to throw Christmas parties every year. So we all have to be there. And he would always bring Nate along. And every time Nate seen us, he just couldn't stand our presence, you know. What wow. I'm saying? Yeah, on the real. So it just it, it just was a thing. It's just always a thing every time. Man, what do you? Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.